Tony from the Real American Outdoors here. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about uh, different options you can use in cases where your access to firearms might be limited or in some cases around the world might be outlawed uh, given the current nature of gun restrictions these days. We're going to talk about some options that you have at your disposal, some of which I have here that you can use to help defend yourself in case a threat arises. So kind of first thing we're going to talk about is kind of a flashlight. Uh, so aside from getting a high lumen flashlight, another thing you can definitely do is get a flashlight with definitely some uh, really aggressive uh, serrations or different types of cuts on the end of the flashlight. Because obviously if it's dark out, you're going to be using a flashlight. If threat emerges, this can be used as kind of a weapon in, in, you know, in a close quarter scenario. Um, so obviously when you, there's plenty of options out there. I know Olight has some and I'm sure Streamlight and Surefire do too and different brands out there. So find yourself a good flashlight, not just from a high lumens perspective to kind of, uh, blind and, and temporary confuse a threat, but also one with aggressive serrations on the end that can be used as a blunt weapon if the, if the need arises. So first option is definitely a good high quality flashlight. Option number two which is definitely an option that, you know, a, a lot more common with women than men, is here I have some sort of, uh, this is just some basic pepper spray. This is small enough that you can kind of keep in a purse or a pocket or something like that. Uh, very easily concealable. Um, they make different sizes of pepper spray. Um, obviously, you know, you might want a bigger thing than this if you're openly carrying it on a belt, but this is more like kind of more of a Something that can fit into a purse, small bag, pocket type deal. Obviously, there's bear spray and things like that too. Uh, whether your threat might be, you know, if you're out hunting or whether that might threat might be in more of an urban area where pepper spray is more uh, practical use. So another option is some pepper. Option number three is definitely more of a lethal option, and that is more of some sort of knife. I just have a basic folding pocket knife here. Um, obviously, depending on where you're at, uh, whether you're allowed a switchblade, a fixed blade knife, things like that, you just need to know your local laws and restrictions. So obviously a knife, you know, just make sure it's sharp and you know, you know, when to use it, how to use it. Obviously these can be easily concealed in pockets if you're not going to keep them on your belt or something like that. So another great thing to have is a knife. All right, item number four and five, I do not have here, but item number four, some sort of bow and arrow or compound bow or things like that. Um, it does have its uses in hunting, obviously, but another use you can use it for is definitely self-defense. It's obviously a lot more silent than a firearm, legal in many places around the world. Obviously, it has some uh, um, drawbacks, no pun intended. You know, obviously, you can only fire one at a time. And obviously there's a learning curve with anything of how to use a bow and arrow compared to other options. Um, so that is another option that you can use as well as the fifth option, which is uh, definitely need to know your local rules and regulations on this is some sort of taser. Um, obviously with tasers, they have their own uh, unique challenges. They're a little more expensive than any of the four options that I previously mentioned. Also need to make sure you know how to use it so you don't actually tase yourself. And obviously, with the different voltages out there, they can become lethal uh, depending on who you use it on and whatnot. But all five of these options, you know, where you might have limited access to a farm, restricted access to a firearm, or some reason don't want to use a firearm, these are five options that you can use, whether in a personal self-defense situation, defending your home, or in, in some sort of case out in the wilderness, if you're just going camping or something, uh, these are good options that you can use in lieu of a firearm. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Real American Outdoors and Tourney X for the American Fishing Challenge. Thank you, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>